In this session, I'm going to look at copy, paste and reset. These are shortcuts that the desk gives you that means it's a bit easier to set up a new channel, for instance, or to copy settings from one channel to the other. You can also do it on other things like mixes, but we'll, we'll focus on the channel side of it for the moment. So, for instance, um, on the setup I've got here right now, I've got several different vocal mics, but I haven't set them all up yet. So, um, Vox 2 is set and I'm reasonably happy with that and then I want to add another mic on number four there, Vox 4 and I think well actually rather than starting from nothing I'll start with the settings I've got on number two and that might be give me a good starting position. So to do that I need to select the channel I want to copy from so that's two. So that's already highlighted there but what I do is I look at the copy and paste buttons just here. So what I do is I hold down the copy button and I select the thing I want to copy from so in this case, I'm going to copy the whole of channel that channel box two. So I press select. You get a little message on the screen that says it's done it. Then I look at the, get to the paste button, hold down the paste button, and I press the select on the channel I want to copy it to. So I do that, and that copies it there. So that's now copied everything. So that's copied the preamp, high pass filter, gate, EQ, and compression, all from channel two to channel four. So that's quite a quick way to get a, a new channel set up with everything from the previous one. So I can look at that and that's given me all of those. So that's great. That's quite a good starting point for that. Um, I can then go in and make the normal adjustments to tweak it as I want to. That's quite a good way to get a new channel set up. If I wanted to do slightly less than that, but I still want to take some of the benefits. So for instance, on number three, I've already got the preamp set up, but I haven't got any EQ on it. So let me say, okay, well, I'd like to take the EQ from number two to number three. So it's where you copy from. So again, I hold down the copy button here. And this time I only want to copy the EQ. So I go up to the top and the EQ in button, I press that. And that copies the EQ. Then I hold down paste. And I select the channel I want to paste it to. So in this case, Fox 3. And that copies the EQ settings only for that. And that will work on the EQ, high pass filter, gate, compression. Each of those you can do copy, you press that button, then you do paste and you select the channel you want to copy it to. And that works on all of them. Another quite useful feature is actually you can do that between scenes. So if you've already done um, a channel setup on a different scene and you want to copy it into your current one, then you can actually do that. So I'm going to uh, throw this one away. So let me get back to where I was starting. So now I've just reset my scene back to how I wanted. So let me say, okay, on box four, actually I know I had that on another scene somewhere. So my scene is saved. That's the important first thing because obviously if I go away from this scene, I'll lose it. So I need to have saved this scene first or I've not done any changes. But I go to the scene I want to find. So I go and navigate to that. So let me say, okay, it's that one. That loads that scene up. I can find the one I want. So let me say, okay, it's going to be, it's actually that, it's that, that channel there. So John Vox. So let me say, I want to just take the EQ from there. So that's actually, that's quite a good one. So I do copy and EQ. Then I go back to the scene that I'm working on. And then I do paste. So I do paste. So let me go back to the Summary, so I'm going to paste it into the box four there. So paste into box four. And that's now pasted the EQ settings only from the other scene into this one. Obviously, if I'm changing scenes, I need to make sure I've saved it. I can do the same thing with the whole channel or the gate compression. Any of those things can be copied between scenes in that way. So that's quite a, a useful little tip to be able to copy things between scenes if you've not copied them in the first place. So that's copy and paste. Uh, reset then is the other part of this and uh, reset basically works in a similar way but it means I go back to the default settings for that so that works on channels EQ gates compression again similar way to how copy and paste works on those different areas in that case what I do is I hold down the reset button and I press the thing I want to reset so for instance uh, if I go back to that box 4 channel that I was looking at I want to reset the EQ, I hold down the reset button, press the EQ in button, and that resets that. I come back out to the summary. If I want to reset the whole channel, I hold down the reset button and I press the select button, and that resets the whole channel. So that resets the preamp, high pass, gate, EQ, and compression. 
Doesn't reset really the name. That's probably the only thing that doesn't get changed. So you have to do that manually if you if you've changed that. But it resets most things about the that channel if you need to. Reset can be used in other ways as well. So uh, one of the useful things you can do reset is you can reset faders. Uh, so if you hold down reset and tap a fader, it'll take it all the way down. If you hold down reset and push a fader up, it'll actually set it to zero. So that can be quite handy sometimes. Hopefully that gives you a good idea of what you can do with copy, paste and reset.